The title of the exhibition is Fair Enough. Uh, so what we did is we basically created a concept for the exhibition and a design for the exhibition, which is based on an international trade fair. And in our opinion, the international trade fair is how this kind of standardization is spread across the world, because you can find the trade fair everywhere in the world. It's always the same, and this is where the kind of products and the services which are allowed for kind of globalized, consistent architecture are spread. We decided to exhibit uh, 20 ideas from 100 years, which uh, defined uh, Russian modernity um, and uh, which um, shaped the architectural landscape uh, in uh, contemporary Russia. One of the most important part of our exhibition is this kind of transformation of ideas into imaginable companies, which are not, do not exist, but which are selling these ideas because it's a fair. So, uh, for example, in this neo-Russian style is uh, selling in our exhibition as a, almost a product. So it's a kind of fantasy space on the one hand, um, but on the other hand we tried to make it as realistic and authentic as possible to really make a comment on this idea of the trade fair and the sort of commercial environment in which architecture and design is uh, communicated today. In our opinion, uh, it's obvious that uh, this universal uh, modern language, which uh, Ram Kulhus is talking about, was spread around the world because of uh, international trade fairs. Pavilion is celebrating its 100th anniversary. It was designed by Alexei Shusev, who is an extremely important architect from the 20th century and also um, someone who we felt was very important to recognize in our show. So one of the booths in our exhibition is dedicated to his work. And um, really what we wanted to do with this booth is demonstrate how um, he as an architect managed to produce work which was um, respected and relevant over many decades regardless of what the political uh, situation was like or what the kind of popular aesthetic was at the time. 